to AUC TV. This is Ahmed Rifai. We start in Guatemala City, where over 19 died after a fire erupted in a shelter for abused children on Wednesday. 38 people were injured, of which 14 are left in critical condition. Although the fire swept through the whole shelter, it mainly affected the girls' side. Protesters gathered in front of the shelter, demonstrating against its lack of proper safety standards. Four people were announced dead in an explosion at a home in a Mexican suburb on Saturday, which according to the local Red Cross was a result of an apparent gas buildup. The Mexico state government said the victims were two women in their mid-twenties and two children aged 6 and 11. Others were hospitalized for injuries, cuts, and severe burns. The blast took place in a residential neighborhood of Tultepec, about two miles from the San Pablito fireworks market, where an explosion killed dozens back in December. Many town residents rely on manufacturing and selling fireworks for a living. However, it was not clear at the beginning whether or not the explosion was caused due to the flammable materials. A military hospital in the Afghan capital, Kabul, was attacked Wednesday, according to the Afghan Defense Ministry. A number of gunmen attacked the Sardar Mohammad Dawood Khan hospital after an explosion and gunfire were heard. The unidentified militants opened fire on the hospital staff and patients. Security forces arrived on the scene after the attack took place. <laughs> The 400-bed hospital is located near several embassies and other hospitals in the capital. No details on the number of casualties or injuries have been revealed. A spokesman for the Interior Ministry said another attack was possibly underway, providing no further details. Residents of Hern, Germany, expressed shock and sadness on Wednesday over the killing of a nine-year-old boy who is believed to have been stabbed to death by his 19-year-old neighbor. The boy was found stabbed to death in a house in Hern on Monday. Neighbors left various teddy bears and candles in a vigil held in his memory. <laughs> German police confirmed on Wednesday that the murderer killed the boy and then posted photos of himself next to the body on the so-called dark web, which is an area of the internet often used for illegal activity. U.S. President Donald Trump's revised travel ban, which forbids six Muslim-majority countries from entering the United States, led hundreds of protesters to go out to Federal Plaza on Tuesday night to express their anger. The new list includes the same countries in the previous ban, excluding Iraq. The new order maintains a 90-day ban for citizens from these countries, and it is expected to become active on March 16. Even though there are some differences in the order, it's still very much a racist Muslim ban that is targeting and attacking Arabs and Muslims from those six countries now. We have to continue fighting against those policies in the courts. We have to continue fighting against those policies in the streets and until they get rescinded. Protesters, armed with posters and banners, called for a canceling of the ban. Some expressed that it was a repackaging of Trump's executive order from a few weeks back. The updated executive order states, quote, each of these countries is a state sponsor of terrorism, has been significantly compromised by terrorist organizations, or contains active conflict zones, end quote. Ten years after the disappearance of Robert Levinson, a former FBI agent in a mission in Iraq, his family are calling Donald Trump to return him home. We'll be able to get Bob home. Um, Unfortunately, we've already had two administrations, and it's been 10 years. This is the third administration working on Bob's case. 
We have asked for a meeting with President Trump. Unfortunately, we not, have not met with him yet. The AP showed that Levinson had been on a mission for CIA analysts who had no authority to run spy operations. Levinson's family had received a, had received a $2.5 million annuity from the CIA to stop a lawsuit uncovering details of his work. Since his disappearance, only several photos and videos of him appeared in 2010 and 2011. The video contained Levinson bearded, with long hair, and in a very poor health condition. The video had a background sound of a popular song in Afghanistan. Levinson's family are worried that his high blood pressure and diabetes are the reason for his extreme weight loss. We've always been in touch with the FBI because they have an open investigation on Bob's case, and he was an FBI agent. Um, the White House um, did get in touch with us. The FBI are offering a $5 million reward for information that leads to Levinson's safe recovery and return. Iran, you have held Bob hostage for 10 years now with no human rights. Please, time is in, this is enough time. Please let him go home. Two newborn female Manchurian tiger cubs who were abandoned by their mother and left in the cold of northwest China survived after receiving intensive care at Xi'an Wildlife Park for almost two months. Uh. 对，因为大的过来的时候，其实你看它呼吸都特别微弱。我们是用吹风机还有电热毯给它采取了一定的保。The tigress had two other cubs who couldn't survive due to lack of food and care. However, the two surviving cubs now enjoy six meals a day, including fish liver oil, calcium tablets, and other trace elements. According to their caretaker, they will receive behavior training when they are six months old. Thank you for watching ACTV. Until next time.